Hello, stock watchers, and welcome to your daily stock report brought to you by Quality Stocks, where performance is tracked daily. I'm your host, Kathy Rankin, and for Monday, October 6th, grab that cup of coffee because we're about to bring you the latest news from around the markets. Today's headline news are brought to you by MyEcheck. MyEcheck offers online merchants, call centers, billers, retail POS, and RDC callback office applications, an array of comprehensive Check21 imaging, processing, and related solutions. The company was created to meet the demand for an alternative payment solution to credit cards when buying products and services online. And we all know how dangerous that can be. Let's get into our headline news. Shares of insurers mostly fell amid overall market uneasiness about the economy and whether the financial bailout package will be able to help the economy avoid a recession. The remarks also came a day after Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said a major insurer is on the verge of going bankrupt, but analysts generally said that was not moving the financial sector or the overall market. Now let's take a look at the market news that Quality Stocks has been tracking for you. Our market headlines are brought to you today by Hybrid Technologies Incorporated. Hybrid Technologies is committed to using its resources for the development and marketing of lithium-powered vehicles and products as well as commercial and residential properties. The company has successfully converted scooters, bicycles, mopeds, motorcycles, cars, and even homes into zero-emission lithium-powered vehicles and facilities. The Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter would like to recap a few of our big timers for the week, starting with Open Energy Corporation. Open Energy Corporation has developed a complete suite of building-integrated solar-safe photovoltaic roofing materials for commercial, industrial, institutional, and residential use. They market these solutions under the trade name Solar Save. Lionbridge Technologies Incorporated is up next. Trading on the NASDAQ global market, Lionbridge Technologies is a leading provider of globalization, development, and testing services. Founded in 1996, the company has their headquarters in Waltham, Massachusetts. They had revenue of $452 million last year and have approximately 4,600 employees. Ecosphere Technologies Incorporated, this company provides solutions to enterprises who desire to treat and recycle water. Headquartered in Stewart, Florida and trading on the OTCBB, Ecosphere is a diversified water engineering and services company, mainly focusing on the natural gas industry. And that's it for our newsmakers today. Stay tuned right here to Quality Stocks Daily Newsletters for the latest news and commentary on small cap to large cap and everything in between. Brought to you by Quality Stocks, where performance is tracked daily. Also, please be sure to see our disclaimer on the Quality Stocks website. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great start to your week. I'm your host, Kathy Rankin, and I will be back again tomorrow with your daily report.